previously on Roll Gay Roleplay. I, I think uh, if we go down this way, this hallway, there's uh there's a room, and uh, then there's uh, an elevator, but uh, I think that's like the operating room or something. For, I guess, like a veterinarian area? Uh, yeah, you could say that. We now have access to the computer. I'm just going to peruse all of these files. If someone could just bar the door and make sure that no one comes in. Uh, hey, you, muscles. Oh, yes, I can. No, not you. So You're Lynn not is muscles. The muscle. <laughs> You're not muscle. You are literally the, the prime investigator. Lynn catches something. Recent email that came in. What was the original email that he sent to Soul Quest City? Like, hey, your citizens are being turned into zombies. And they're like, that's corporation controlled, baby. Sorry. It's about the zombie exhibit has had at least five zombies appear in the last month that can't be accounted for. Also, the fence holding the dinosaurs that escaped was broken from the outside, which means somebody let the dinosaurs escape. And that informing the city that the cameras go off for two hours almost every day. Which is very suspicious and weird. The door is labeled Meat Locker. Ew. Uh, Bright tube lighting hangs overhead. There are shelves on either side of the walk-in with either slabs of meat on trays or crates filled with like cans and jars. This is for sure a gay club. While we're in this elevator, Rux, why do you remember this room so well? Uh, this room where they have hanging meat. Is this where you were fed? Oh, my, <laughs> oh my God. God. <laughs> were you an animal in this zoo? Uh, no, I wasn't. So I, I remember this place before Old Man Submarine's heart stuff. I put him on a gurney. I willed him down here. I put him in the elevator and he happened to die. Okay. But that not because of zombies, but because of, you know, dead doctor. He was very insistent that he did it the best he could. Right. And then you killed his husband. We all know that I didn't kill his husband, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> all right, good. That's good enough for me. Let's uh, get in the elevator and go down. Welcome to Roll Gay Roleplay, a real gay, real play D&D podcast. I'm Chris the DM, and I'm not the only one drinking today. Hi, my name is Katie, and I had a university friend's wedding this weekend, so I have drank more than I have drank in the entire year, which is not a lot still because I don't drink a lot, but man, my buddy's like, you're killing me. Water. <laughs> Water and I'm ibuprofen, Jesus. <laughs> I'm Prandall, and I showed up 45 minutes to, late to record today. But you weren't kidnapped. Not yet. Not yet. Fingers crossed. I'm Tisha, and I was terrified for Brandel. Uh... Because you just said that you were officially on the dating apps last time. Mm. And so I was like, oh gosh. Brandel doesn't have it, hasn't made any like super close friends yet in Dallas to make sure that they're safe. What if he's in a basement? And then Jonathan told me there's no basements, is no basements in Texas. Now, if you turn your feet out and hit it like this, ah, ah, <laughs> see, that's hip hop. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Good, <laughs> Olympic competition person and also breakdancing specialist. <laughs> what a wild. And toe touch, and toe touch, and run on the floor. And donkey hop. <laughs> and that's hip hop. And that's hip hop. And she genuinely looks like she could be Tina Fey. Like, it looks like an SNL skit. Like, oh, I'm sure it will be. Like yeah, I was going to say, it will be. Yeah. The Elaine Bennis School of Breakdancing. And that's actually what our question is about, too. Our question this week is, if you could master an Olympic sport, which one would it be? Yeah. I would master tennis because they get paid the most. And also, I think they're really cool. It's a good point. Paid the most is a good reason. 
That's a good reason. There's so many. There's so many. If I could be like the best, there's there's so much competition. If I could master it, I would. I mean, I'd be banking. I am here for the synchronized swimming. Mm. Oh yes. The shit the girls be doing yeah. underwater, the breath control, like girls be eating up. Un- like yeah, so that's what I want to do. Um, I want to move the way they do which is like very erratic but also very artistic so love that for them and if you get knocked off into the water in the middle of the ocean you could survive for longer much longer oh my god and then give the fish a show exactly (laughs) do a little scissor kick (laughs) yes i would choose women's gymnastics because i feel like i'd get a lot of attention as the only male presenting Women's gymnastics. Love it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say women's boxing. If you present as male, they won't let you be in women's gymnastics. I want to <laughs> I want to choose women's boxing so that I can hit a girl and then everyone can be like, oh my God, a dude hit a lady. Welcome to Olympic sports. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they already do that with the women. So mm-hmm. Yes, like cisgender women. They were like, oh, this man. Yeah. Which, by the way, we can go to a whole tirade about that, but mm-hmm. we won't. That, because... Especially a woman who likely does not like gay people has a whole bunch of gays on her side right now. Right. Like, the gays she... love supporting people who hate them. Oh, man. Yeah, that's why y'all like Jeffree Star and Troye Zavon so much. <gasps> I don't like Jeffree Star, but I... Joy Sean doesn't... Blah, 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 blah. Go on. Yeah? <laughs> Just keep moving. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Troy Savon and Charlie are coming to Texas soon. And I was going to see them. Oh, I have nothing. Oh, uh, Tro- Troy Savon has done nothing wrong to the gay community. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I just don't like Troy Savon. Is Troy Savon is is Troy Savon queer? Yeah. Gay. Or not? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think cis gay. Okay, because I thought there was like this thing. I can't remember. I thought it, maybe it wasn't Troy Savon, but I thought there was somebody. That kept presenting queer, but wasn't. I mean, Chalamet. Oh, probably Ooh. Chalamet. Yeah. Nick Jonas. Bitch, they tried to say that people are asking if Troy Zavon is Hispanic. Where, mama? <laughs> <laughs> Where? <laughs> he might be uncircumcised. Tro- a bitch. <laughs> Troy yeah. Zavon Millet yeah. uh, was born in Johannesburg, South Africa, and is a citizen of Australia and South Africa. Yeah. Uh, my sport would be dressage, but I would want to beat the horses. <gasps> oh, my God. I, I want to win. Oh, he, oh. We we... oh it sounded like you were going oh. to physically assault that horse. I'm, I'm like, that, I'm not I a know. Of horses. <laughs> no. like that, I That's why I gasped. <laughs> no, I'm dressage. like, why are you going to beat the horses? No. <laughs> horse boxing. I want to do horse boxing. Female horse boxing. Christopher literally <laughs> wants to be a Christian <laughs> horse girl. <laughs> but no, no. just like. The... A Christian horse, <laughs> not even the girl part. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. train the horse. I want to be the. I want to be the dressage. I want to do the little hops. I would love Chris to wear like one of those rubber horse heads and just run out <laughs> onto the stage. Yes, <laughs> fucking love that. That's amazing. No <laughs> Couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't play some preliminaries for break dancing, so immediately registered for dressage. <laughs> You don't make one team, you find your sport. <laughs> Same routine. Is there going to be a horse ratatouille you to do the little fancy stance steps? <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. It would be horse ratatouille. How do horses say nay in French? It's like, nee, nee. Nar. Nar. It's like, nee. 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 Baguette. Nee. Baguette. What did you just call me? <laughs> okay, so I have a couple of sports. Assuming that I just wake up and I'm magically able to, I am in the peak physical shape and able to do the sport, no effort needed from me. Because if there's effort required, forget about it. You know what I mean? Sorry, babes. I've got a job. <laughs> there are a couple. So if it was the Winter Olympics, I would love to be really good at figure skating. And Skate Canada has recently allowed two skaters of any gender to compete in competition. So it's not just men and women. It is any two dance it's any two figure skaters so it's not an olympic sport yet but it's coming and i'm like damn i'd love to be the butch figure skater be so cool (laughs) 
<laughs> Any two genders, but one has to be butch and one has no, to be No, I want to be butch. <laughs> You imagine two butches arm wrestling on the Olympic stage. <laughs> on ice. <laughs> Love it. Just drinking a beer, going across the ice. Macho, macho, man. <laughs> um, or ski cross, because that's just roller derby on skis, and I love that. Or uh, your aerial freestyle skiing. That's where you just throw yourself off a huge ramp and do a bunch of flips and twists, um, but it absolutely annihilates your knees. Oh, I bet. Oh, yeah. Uh, and if it was the Summer Olympics, I'd do fencing or archery because those are the gayest sports from what I can see. <laughs> like, you, don't, you don't mean the, uh, the, the uh, South Korean person who's been going viral for his gun shooting pose? Or the, I think, Turkish guy? Oh, yeah. The oh, who, like, came in, like, f- who came in like fucking slides and the teacher <laughs> was like, bitch, I'm an Olympic. <laughs> yeah, it was like some dude's dad. Yeah. <laughs> take your that? fancy headgear. I'll take a second. Whatever. <laughs> I just showed up here. <laughs> wasn't that Turkish person, that Turkish dude, part of a team? Like, wasn't it female and male team? Oh, I don't know. I, don't know I just saw the memes. Oh. Archery just gives you the best fucking arm and back muscles. Lesbians go feral for that shit. And gaying is just, fencing is just homoerotic. It doesn't matter what gender you are. Fencing is just yeah. Homoerotic. It could be a man versus a woman, and I'd be like, "Yeah, this is still pretty gay." Yeah, this is still pretty gay. <laughs> I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know how. They're... <laughs> I mean, rock hard, obviously. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I don't. That hurts your heart dynamic. <laughs> Speaking of rock hard, we have rock hard mysteries to solve. Oh yeah, okay, baby. Okay. Yeah, we are dressed as drag queens. In and kings. The em- and kings, my yep. mistake. We are in the employees only area of the zoo. We've gone through the meat locker, found the secret elevator, and we are going down. In an earlier round. Yeah, there was so long I didn't understand the words so of that. I was, like, I was just like, I don't know, I don't know, bullet. And then once you learn the words, you're like, this song's kind of stupid. Like, <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of that. Huh, I'm in your closet. That's weird. Huh. That's just weird. Wishing to be the lipstick. Loaded gun wish. complex, cock it and pull it. What does that mean? Loaded gun complex, cock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are going down, down the elevator, and the elevator doors are going to open. Is there any uh, elevator music, or is it because it's a secret envelope, ele- like a secret elevator? There's no elevator music. No elevator music. Yeah, this is the elevator those... music is actually uh, "What Can I Do for You" by Yuna in Final Fantasy X. Nice. Mm-hmm. No, it's fucking bum 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 bum. What the fuck? No, I don't know that one, babes. It's our theme. I don't know that one. Oh, you oh. okay? I'm sorry. It was just you. Were, you, you were a little off. So. If you listen to our holiday episodes, that was spot fucking off. You are so right. My bad. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Why don't you go yes. synchronize some swimming? Listen, if they pay me. Okay. <laughs> the elevator doors open, and you see a long hallway. Oh damn. Got my hopes up. <laughs> a long dick. <laughs> a hallway shaped like a dick. Yes. Uh, the walls are unfinished with exposed electrical and pipes running along them. Uh, and as you leave the elevator and walk down the hallway, you start to hear stifled groans. Oh, great. Can I have everyone roll perception, please? Perception. See. Si. Uh, oh, shit. I can't do all these things at once. I need to close all my Ikea tabs. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, Slay. You said perception, eh? Yes. Oh, shit. I literally have an Ikea mm-hmm. tab open, too. That's funny. <laughs> I have Troy Savon Wikipedia open. <laughs> I have Troy Savon nudes, question mark, Google search. Uh, 22. 23. 23. 14. You know what? Maybe this is just a height thing. Maybe the sign is just a little bit too high for a Bay Luzon? Bay Jimbo. Jim Bay. Juju Bay? Oh, Jim Bay. Got it. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's good. As you reach the end of this hallway, you're going to reach a T intersection. And there are the three of you that are tall enough to see it. Notice that there are arrows pointing in two directions. To the left 
it says exam room. To the right is where the groans are coming from, and the arrow says zombie exhibit. As you reach this intersection and realize which directions you can go, Lynn, your phone begins to ring. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to pick it up as fast as I can. Keep it quiet. The, is there any, is there any like identifiable? Unknown caller. Unknown caller. I'm going to pick yes. that shit up. Yeah. Hello? Uh, hi, this is Gage. I am the assistant to the assistant for Zastasha Felzar. Uh, I, I've been granted permission to allow a five minute video call with Zastasha Felzar. <gasps> This call will take place in exactly 43 minutes. Uh, you do only have five minutes, though. Is, does that time work for you? Uh, I'm get, oh, one second. I have to check with my schedule. One second. Yes, thank you for one second. I'm holding. I'm going to put my uh -huh. hand over. Is there anything obviously watching or hearing us or anything? Can I just like whisper to them without it being a, a huge cause for concern? Do you think you can speak without anyone listening? Yes. Okay. I'm still going to try to be hush-hush, obviously. But I am going to be like, okay, do you think that we can resolve this in 43 minutes? Zastasha can talk to us for five minutes only in 43 minutes. Rux looks at their watch to see what time it is. It is about 9.30 at night. So. Okay, and the lights go off between two and or the cameras go off between two and five. So, I thought it was five and seven. Five and seven. Sorry. Yes. And five and seven. Five and seven a.m. or p.m. A.m. A.m. Okay. Okay. So we have time to just hide ourselves in room and talk with Sasha. You know. Yeah. I mean, I guess as long as uh, we don't uh, get you know captured or eaten by zombies, we should be free in about forty-three minutes. Okay, let's not think about that and use a timer for 40 minutes. And then that way we have three minutes to find somewhere to hide. Maybe 35 minutes? I can do that. Yeah, I think uh, 35. Okay, so I'm going to set a timer on my my little phone for th 35 minutes and I'm going to get back to the assistant. Uh, okay. Yes, we can do uh, talking to the Sasha in uh, 43 minutes uh, for five minutes exactly. Okay, great. Um, we do have rules that you must follow for this call. Okay, number one, uh, there is no recording of any kind. No. Okay. Rule number two, no one is allowed to chew gum during this call. No gum. Uh, no, no gum. Rule number three, please keep all processed foods out of sight of Zastasha Felzar. Okay. One second. Uh, and finally, you must compliment Zastasha Felzar within the first 60 seconds of the call or it will end abruptly. <sighs> Jesus, so happy that I knew Zastasha before all these writers <laughs> were part of the contract. Must compliment Zastasha 60 seconds, you say, eh? Yes, and your call will begin the second that you pick up. Uh, we will call you back in exactly 43 minutes. And the second we pick up. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Um, and just a reminder, what is subject of the call? Zastasha, like what is what's scheduling in? What is the title you have given this little meeting? Did, did you not request Zastasha to contact you back? My my boss, Zastasha's assistant, said that you contacted them to yes. contact. Yes. Yeah, so Zastasha's calling, contacting you back. So whatever the subject is that you needed to talk about is what this is about. Okay. We cannot re request Zastasha spend a little time, get ready for a appointment. We got five minutes to pick brain only. Correct. Okay. You hear something in the background. Hey, I know you're like doing something or whatever. It looks yes. like super busy, but like I promise you whatever I'm doing is like more busy. So like take your time or whatever and like do what you're doing. But like also this could like not fare well for you in the future. So uh, we'll call you in 43 minutes. Thank you. And then they hang up. Yep. Okay. You hear in the background. Who was that? <laughs> 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 So now you are at the end of the hallway and you have a call set up with Zastasha soon. So any assistance you need from your technological friend, you have it available. Perfect. Can they set up like a timer on their phone for one minute before? Sure. Yeah, I have one for 35 minutes. Okay, so an, a, an additional timer for one minute before. Yes, Bay. Oh, oh, oh wow. <laughs> a timer. <laughs> Does Bay have a phone that isn't like full of goop at this point? Oh, I don't know if it actually works. It's fully like it's submerged at all times. <laughs> it's actually a calculator. Oh my god! I just type in the time I want it to work. Boobies, boobies. <laughs> ah, so it seems that we have come to uh, a cross paths crossing, 
it sounds like the zombies may be coming from the direction that I hear the moaning. But what about these other two? Uh, we have, and Chris, you told us what they were earlier. I just, a lot happened. Yeah, you've got the medical exam room to the left and then the zombie exhibit to the right. Uh, and you're down low enough that you can kind of assume you're now at the same level as where the zombies are. So mm. is there any sort of like protective gear or wear by the door for anyone that needs to go in and feed them or something? No, there's not. Maybe we know that these zombies are being turned into zombies against their will. Maybe we should check the medical exam room to see if there's any agent or something in there to reverse it. I think that that is a good idea as well. Well, even just if there is anything that we can put on to protect ourselves. Keep in mind, this is a secret area. No, Not everybody, especially the zoo workers, don't know that this is down here. So they wouldn't be feeding from here. Oh, they'd probably be throwing the meat from the top where the meat locker is. Exactly. So, oh, okay. So this is, remember, because we found the hidden door that went to the hidden elevator because we had to push that button that was hidden. So more likely to hurt the zombie than investigate to help the zombie. Right. So pretty much everything we're doing right here is uh, not controlled by the zoo necessarily, at least uh, not the zoo workers this is more the underground uh, i think that the exam room might then help us with more clues because we think that the submarine own well then let's go the zoo. uh behold as i stand at the door and knock why would you knock is it open other windows no that's a quote from the bible oh okay that's gross. <laughs> um, no, we love jesus on this podcast it's Pride Month in my city, and you make me listen to Bible quotes? Yes. Oh, my God. We love uh, Jesus. Um, yes. Yes. So, no one's answering. I guess we can just open it. Yeah. I open the door. I mean, <clears throat> I open the door. Awesome. Um, can everyone roll perception as we walk into the medical exam room? Yeah. Bay is keeping such an eye on that zombie door. For sure. I got a 16. Oh, shit on my face. I got an eight. <laughs> I got a 10, but I think it's because I'm not looking in that room. Yeah. Rux got a 25. Rux, I mean, it's, it's familiar to you. So maybe that's why your perception is so high. It's just a another flood of memories like, oh, shit, this is definitely the room I was in. So what you see in there is the medical exam room is a spacious uh, rectangular area with high ceilings. The room is very well lit, as if the entire ceiling was made of light. Like, you can't see where the walls end and where the ceiling begins. It's just brightness. Spooky, spooky. Spooky, indeed. There is a large, sturdy table with a curved metal surface in the center of the room, with thick leather restraints hanging down the sides and a large, adjustable light overhead. There's a long L-shaped metal counter that runs, runs along two of the walls. One wall has shelves and cabinets above the counter and drawers below. And the other part of the counter has two sinks. And above the sinks is a large mirror built into the wall. There's also many framed anatomy posters of the creatures kept in the zoo on the wall next to the door that you entered from. Anatomy posters? Like dick pics? Like, yeah, it's 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 oh. dick pics of the various animals. So there's, like, dinosaur dick pics. There's zombie dick pics. Love that. Yeah, I am actually going to take a peek, see if there is zombie-specific ones, and just, like, take a picture if there's anything, something interesting or useful that I can pull. Yeah, I mean, all the, all the anatomy posters have kind of, like, that bilateral or, like, that cut where it's, like, the exterior of the being and then the interior on the other side. And you can see, like... The zombie has more like brittle bones and there's just like melted interior organs. Okay. But you said these are fast zombies. I want yes. to check to see if there is a scroll of resurrection in here. And the reason why I want to check for a scroll of resurrection is because I am sure that there have been accidents where the submarine has probably accidentally turned someone into a zombie that he didn't want to because of like the mishandling of chemicals or some shit like that. So I'm sure that they have, like, some way in here where they have, like, reversed it on someone. Okay. Where are you looking? What are you doing? I am scout. So, like, is there, like, a chemical table or, like, is there, are there, like, I know you said there's a built-in mirror. 
Uh huh. There's the built-in mirror. There's sinks. There's like cabinets and drawers that you can look through. Cabinets and drawers. You want me to detect magic? Would that detect a scroll? I think it will because it detects magical. Hold on. Does it say that it detects magical? Any items? visible creature or object that bears magic. Oh, it's not visible. Well, it's not visible because we have to find it. Yeah. Oh, uh, but it penetrates most barriers. Oh. Right, but visible. That doesn't make any sense though. If it can peer- penetrate barriers and I can't see and I can see it. Well, a window. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks, Tisha. That really helped. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but 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 wall. It's yeah. If I you see it through a wall, it's fucking useless. <laughs> She's like, but sometimes there's holes in walls. Door not see through. Everyone, there must be uh, some type of scroll or something in here that we can use to turn what's their face back to human. Uh, please assist me in looking. Okay, uh, but first, I kind of want to, I'm feeling a little uh, paranoid here. Uh, I want to just check this mirror to make sure it's not a C- double see-through mirror. You know, the kind they use at the police station? Mm-hmm. Ah, thank you. Good idea. Two-way mirror, I one-way have, mirror? I have... Um, well, one way is a window. <laughs> I have uh, true seeing. Okay, I don't know what that is. So... True Seeing, a spell in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Mm. This spell gives the willing creature you touch the ability to see things as they actually are. For the duration, the creature has true sight, notices secret doors hidden by magic, and can see into the ethereal plane all out to a range of 120 feet. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. You're casting that spell? Yes. Uh, hey, Rux, get ready to see <laughs> everything. And I, uh, I like give him like a little love tap on the forehead, and I say, "See into the d- light," and bop, and there you go. Okay. When that happens, Rux, nothing changes. You see nothing different. You see the same room. Okay. I don't think uh, your spell worked, so I'm just gonna punch this mirror. No, I don't think. I don't think you should do that. Why would you cause a commotion? Okay. I'm gonna walk up to it and put my finger against it to see if it's a two-way mirror. Because that's a thing I learned from Tentacle. It, and it's a brilliant little trick. Uh, you remember that from Tentacle, and you do know for certain there is a two-way mirror here. There is something on the other side of this mirror. Okay, so there's definitely something on the other side of this mirror. So can I punch it now? What do we want to do? There's There could be somebody watching us. Okay, I have Detect Traps. I have uh, Dispel Magic. Uh, we can okay. just break it. You know, throw something at it. I can explode it. I have guiding bolt, you know? Right. I mean, I think I, I said that first and I was told no uh, for a reason. Uh, Shannon, do you got any ideas what we could do to make sure we're not being watched? I just want to just throw something out there that this bitch has true sight, which means that they can see visual illusions. Just want to throw that out there. So is it a visual illusion? My spell. Yes. A, a two-way mirror is a visual illusion. I, there is. So a, I just. Mm, yep. Yes, and and I still stand by it didn't work. I will fight you and your family. <laughs> you haven't learned enough to know that I'm correct. Oh. <laughs> I'll still fight you. And your family. Uh, yeah, that was okay. unrelated. So I have detect <laughs> magic, which lets me see, like, let me, lets me. Okay. So um, I think just in and out of character, but I give detect magic, which lets me see what is actually the type of magic that's watching us or if it's just like a two way mirror. Identify. Well, I can identify it, the thing if I touch it. The mirror, the mirror, it's not magical itself because true sight, true seeing would have seen that. Mm-hmm. OK, so it's just, it would be just a standard two way. I will. I will say if it is a two way mirror, that means that there is probably a room on the other side. So somewhere on this level is a way to get to that room. And I don't see any secret doors. I don't see any other doors besides the one we came in. Roll investigation. I am going to investigate. Well, I have true sight. No, because I have arcane eye. If there is a gap as small as one inch in diameter, my freaky little eyeball can get in there. Okay. So I'm going around, and I'm seeing if there's like a loose screw, if there's something I can't fuck off with that stupid fucking how do you create your little eye what is it called it's called arcane eye okay as soon lynn as soon as you try and cast arcane eye it doesn't appear oh do i lose that spell slot yep 
Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, was there's something going on here in this room. Where uh No, my stupid little eye buddy. Here, let me uh, uh let me give you let me give you uh let me give you aid. Rux casts aid on Shannon. Alright, so a little bit of tape over your nipples. Alright, do you feel more powerful? Ah, uh, yes, the power it flows through me. Nothing happens. Yeah. Okay. Uh that was acting. <laughs> Can Bay do like an Arcana check to see if there's a dispel magic field or something? Absolutely, you can. Hey, can we all try Arcana then? Sure. Mm, I got a four. Is that? Oh, I have an inspiration. Can I reroll? Is that how that works? Yes, that's how that works. Yeah. I got a fourteen. This is probably not a great. And I got an eighteen. I also got an eighteen. You're welcome. Great use of inspiration. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Would you say an inspiring use of inspiration? <laughs> You could give me another inspiration. <laughs> no, you do. No, I'm not rewarding that. <laughs> um, yeah, so you do realize that there is something that is blocking all magical spells from happening. Your spells are not going to work in this room. It's not something that you can figure out exactly where it's at, though. It's just that you know your spells are not going to work in this room. Okay, so now I'm back to uh, punching this window. No. Okay. No. Didn't we just say that we can probably just find the room? All right, but... Instead of creating a causing a scene, you know, there's like a horde of zombies. Okay, so I forgot somebody run. suggested that. You're right. Okay. So, so also, bef- just you know, hey, before we <laughs> do all of that, I would love if we could just maybe search for like that scroll I was talking about. Oh yeah. Okay, but uh, somebody could be watching us while we're searching. But I guess that we don't care. Well, the time we wasted trying to get you not to punch a hole in the mirror. We could have found the scroll already. You're yeah, right. Okay. You know, All right. Okay. Fine. All right. Plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, you know, just uh, look in the cabinets and the drawers. Okay. And I, I don't think that I have any more. I don't have any more Bardic Inspiration to give y'all because we haven't rested. Well, I don't think anything would work. Like, I don't think you could cast Bardic Inspiration at all. Is that magic? Mm-hmm. It's not. Right. He's got a 19 for investigation. But aid didn't work either. But aid is a spell. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. All right. I have a 19 for investigation. What did everyone else get? An 18 for investigation. I'm not investigating. I'm just staring at this door. 12. Bay mm. is on lookout. Yeah, I got 12. Um, Are you investigating like the shelves and drawers and shit? Is that what we're looking at? Yes. Okay. So the shelves, uh, especially Shannon and Rux, you're going to notice these. Shannon, you're going to find the shelves are stocked with both like standard medical supplies and more rare herbs, potions type thing. Mm-hmm. You're finding like stethoscopes, thermometers, sharp scalpels, and saws. There's a drawer of long syringes with varying degrees of gauges uh, for needles. Uh, you find foam corks designed to stop anal leakage. You oh. little freak. <laughs> and then uh, Rux, as you're opening cabinet after cabinet, you find that there's a cabinet with a padlock on it underneath one of the shelves. Nice. Uh, no scroll has been found, though. Hey, there's a cabinet here that I can't open unless I punch it. Don't I? But I'm holding off on that. I don't think you can. Why can't I punch a cabinet? (laughs) Okay. I just, do you, (laughs) if you punch. Rux is punchy. Okay. That was supposed to be a joke because I said punch the window. Okay. I can't, I probably can't punch a padlock off. I think you could if you tried. I don't, there's a padlock here. Does anybody got a key? Anybody see a key anywhere? Hey, uh, Bay. That set of keys you have. I I grabbed Any some of them keys. Padlock key. Arcotra. Yeah, I stole loose Endel's keys. You did. You did steal oh. Loose's keys. Yeah, so I'm gonna try some of Loose's keys. Yeah. Everybody's gonna try to lockpick the window. Okay. <laughs> it's a <laughs> joke because earlier yep. we said punching the window. Yep, I love it. Huh. Okay. Thanks for the explanation. I just wanted. <laughs> they uh, one of the keys does work. So well done for hanging on to that and taking it with you. Thank you and remembering. Yeah. So when you open up the the uh, locked cabinet, there is a drawer, and underneath the drawer there is a fridge. I'm not going to open that fridge until I open what's in the drawer. Okay. The drawer, as you open it, the drawer contains six small blinking capsules. Medically sealed in individual bags. I'm going to do an investigation. Is there anything? I'm just going to look around this little cabinet. 
They're 12. I'm going to roll. I don't want to use my luck again, but that's not a great roll. Hey, does someone else want to come take a look at this cabinet and make sure there's no like booby trap or what the fuck these little things are? Because these look a lot like tracking things to me, but I don't know if that's right. That's just a guess. Ah, I shall come and investigate. Uh, well, I'm not coming to do shit. I rolled five. <laughs> Can, would Bay get any sort of advantage being so familiar with drugs? But they're blinking. Sure. What kind of drugs blink? Sure. Is it like a technology blinking? There's only one way to find out. You're going to fucking eat one. No. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a nat 20 on my first roll. Okay. Um, Bay, you're certain that this is not a drug that you've seen before. Uh, and in fact, you're also confirming what Lynn thinks in that it's a tracking device. Okay. I thought you were going to be like, oh, man, you're 100% sure it's not a drug. Done. <laughs> that 20 deserves something oh uh, no this is i have here look and i'm gonna squirt out a tracking device for myself and say this is that's the same thing up there yeah. also someone's been tracking me this whole time <laughs> wait for real yeah i found it after we left mb but i don't know where i come from Okay, well, that would have been great to know really earlier because, you know, giant robot killer, you know, think they would have little tracker that track you so that they can come kill us. Okay, well, let's just leave it with the zombie, you know? So we are going to put <laughs> your little tracker. We, we're going to leave it here. Okay, that's that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How are we not dead? <laughs> Let's open that fridge. Okay. Inside the fridge, there are little vials with a hazard symbol on it, marking the zombie virus. Mm, and those are probably liquid trackers, too. No, I think that that... I think that we should take these vials. See, I think that that's a really good way to get turned into zombie accidentally. Oh, no, I tripped. Oh, no, I smashed the vial. Oh, my God, I'm going to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> I would say uh, we dump that uh, down the drain, but then we spend a lot of time in the sewers, so. Oh my god, dude. I don't know what to do with it. Do you think the fat bird can get zombified? I don't want to think about that at all. Maybe the fat bergs are zombies. Ooh. Interesting. Then I think about that. Um, is there any, like, MSDS sheet or, like, content vial? Or is it just, like, a warning symbol? Like, sort of, like, yeah, lab no. protocol? Warning symbol tells you it's the zombie virus. That, that should be enough to tell you how, how dangerous it is. Okay. <laughs> I, I am going to... I am taking one of these vials. And I'm going to stick it right here in my purse. Oh, just loose, just raw dog in the Yeah, are you are forward. you taking it you with your bare hands? Is that true? Is that what's happening? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, I naturally wear gloves. I naturally wear gloves. Of course. Uh, do you naturally wear gloves? I I think I have gloves in my art. We're about to find out. We are about to find out. If not, I'm just going to take it. You do have gloves. Uh-huh, you raggedy bitch. <laughs> 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 Call that vicious mockery. <laughs> it's gonna be a zombie fight in the medical room right now. Okay, uh, you take. Are you taking one of the vials? I'm taking one, and then I want to. Okay, are all the vials like? Are they on a rack? Yes. I want to take the entire rack. Okay. And, and, and so I'm sure that I'm going to be asked, <laughs> and so I'll let you all know. I will take this entire rack of vials. One will be for us to use on submarine during our fight with them because we don't trust that bitch. The rest of these, I do not feel comfortable with them being having the, the means to turn more people into zombies. So I do believe that we should dispose of these. Okay. Why would we want to use that on submarine? Yeah, I mean, there's one thing to threaten, but the actually... Because to be turned into a zombie means to lower their intelligence, which means they're easier to fight. That is excellent point. I'm I mean, good at this shit. Are we going to actually fight somebody? 
I, I doesn't I, submarine have people of interest held hostage? Yeah, but that doesn't mean that we can't, uh, you know, threaten or dock our way out. You tried that, and he wasn't having any of your shit. How many youths does submarine have? How many youths? You. You. People like you, Rux. People who used to do the same thing. Or people oh. who do the same thing that you used to do. Because you're very strong and very scary. It- okay, but I never hurt anybody. Yeah, but they have people that will. No, I mean, we just... We're, we're like, you know people who look like we could fight so you don't even try it's like the best gig i've seen you fight you can fight (laughs) and in what universe do i look like a man who knows like he looks like like he knows how fight like i mean i'm not saying that you do obviously (laughs) no but but you do which means we need to know how many of you submarine has which means that we don't have to fight uh how many enforcers uh did submarine have I mean, I know of like three, three, two or three. I oh, mean, that's that's a really uh, Chicago saying, and I'm saying it wrong. Yeah, about two or three. Yeah, there you go. If we're gonna have to fight three paladin-looking motherfuckers that are strong as fuck, it'd be nice to not have a mastermind that's actually able to use their mind. Let me turn them into a zombie. Uh, I mean. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm not a fan right now, but uh, if you need something in your back pocket, then uh, you know. Rux Smythe Higgins the third. Why are you? Uh, why are you so <laughs> against us turning your old boss into a zombie and killing them, even uh, though they've caused just, a lot of harm to a lot of other people? Okay, I'm just against killing in general. That's just the thing you know i don't but we can use this to threaten don't you see we can be like we will turn you into okay. zombie and, and, and that's that's i'm here for that there we go see compromise excellent job everyone we will threaten to turn you into zombie but it is also illegal to make a threat and then not follow through so what? i don't that's all this is that's out, just this is out. Uh, you know what i will follow along with your ideas until the time comes if I am to turn, if I am forced to turn submarine into a zombie, I will exp- I will be expecting my gosh, Shannon Powers, you were correct the entire time. Post haste. We could also <laughs> turn Sasha into a zombie and then not have to worry about her anymore. That's a really Is hot that- take. <laughs> Wait, that's a <laughs> really Wait, hot while take. While we're, just while we're brainstorming, uh, there's no bad ideas in the brainstorm. It's so hot, like <laughs> I'm sweating. <now. laughs> it's an incredibly so, hey, hot take. <laughs> hey, Bay, do you have like, do you mm-hmm. have a history with Zastasha Felzar? With who? <laughs> oh, because I'm sure I said it clearly. So beautiful gowns, beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Hey, whatever y'all got going on, don't let it cloud your judgment on our mission, right? Okay, totally. we'll just threaten Zastasha with a zombie ball. I we're not worried. We're not worried about Zastasha at this moment. I mean, we kind of are. I mean, I, the clock's ticking down okay. the, when she's calling. Do we know what we're gonna be asking her? Can we just use this room as our resting room? Can we just like bar the door? What does the door look like into the zombie exhibit? How's that like? Up. I feel like this is like in a video game where you know you can't sleep because there's uh, danger nearby. <laughs> um. Okay. So the zombie exhibit has a large metal door. I mean, if you've seen the back part of any like large zoo exhibit, like that's what this is. The other side of this is basically built into the mountain, the fake mountain part of the zombie background. So the door is just like a heavy metal door that you'd have to like firmly unlatch in order to open. It's not something you're going to be able to open from the exhibit side. Okay. So it's it's not like something can open that door from the outside coming in. So even though Bay is very like concerned and nervous about it, uh, it, it's not something that can come. No one can come from it at least. I have to want to punch that glass mirror and then go to sleep. Can we like cover it with like you know? some like scrubs or something i don't know if we can break it but we can try how much time left do we have on the timer before we go and do whatever we're about to do to this mirror oh i also want to say that i took um a couple of the tracking pills um and i left are, Bay's... are they tracking pills yes chris confirmed that okay and okay. i'm gonna put Bay's tracking pill as a replacement 
in there. Okay. It's like a couple tracking pills left base as a replacement. Uh, okay. Also, your 35-minute warning is now. So in eight minutes, Zastasha will be on the phone with you. Cat. Mirror, mirror. I'm down to clown with the mirror if you guys are. Are you trying to just break it? Is that the plan? Or is there? are you trying to find the door into the room? I think Look. find the door yeah. into the room. Okay. How are we doing that? What are we going to do? All right. Last time we found the button on the wall. Does everybody want to just go touch the walls? Is there like a, a bookshelf full of medical bullshit? Um, Your hesitance well, makes me think there's not and there's not a switch in a book. I, it's not a switch in a book, but why don't we roll investigation? Let's just have everyone roll investigation in general. We'll start everyone start walking around the room. Uh, touching things, trying to look at things. Lynn got an eight. He's trying to think about what he wants to ask Zastasha. 17. Big got an eight. They're thinking of how to turn Zastasha into a zombie. Okay. And Zastasha, or not Zastasha. Oh. Shannon. Quick, kill Shannon. <laughs> a five again, isn't it? Oof. Okay. Well, then, as everyone else is looking around the room, Rux, you start to look into the mirror, trying to see on the other side. Uh, you can kind of make out that there's something back there. Uh, and as you lean back, you look down and start to investigate the sink a little further. There are two sinks there. There's one that is a normal hand washing sink with a soap dispenser and a pile of Tokyo brand unwasted towelettes. And the other sink has an extendable faucet and a large metal basin, like big enough for a basset hound to fit in. And the large sink has a linear water stain inside the basin that's about two thirds of the way up. So it's a sink. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sink, but nobody cleans it. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, this uh, sink looks like it's been filled for a while and uh, nobody cleaned it after they filled it. Uh, do you want to try to fill the sink up with water? And Rux turns the handles on the faucet. Okay. The faucet will turn on. You don't have a stopper, though. Rux pulls the... Oh, shit. Plunger. Hey, uh, what if I uh, pulled the handle off of this spray thing and uh, stick it in to stop the water from going out? What? You know, the spray... You know, the, you pulled the thing. It looks like a big old snake and you, know, you spray water out of it. Don't break it. Okay. Well, do you have anything else? Can you get, can, do you have anything? In you said it's full of water? No, it's, uh, I'm trying to fill up the, I'm trying to fill the water up, but I don't have a stopper to fill the sink. I'm trying to fill the sink up. Okay. Can Bay just shove a bunch of detritus and debris? I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. what? Isn't there already a bunch of detritus in the sink? No, the sink is empty there's the water line where it normally gets filled through can they mush a bunch of crap into the drain to try and clog what, it up what crap are you using um probably like wadded up newspapers and sludge in general you just you just ex expelling stuff from you a bunch of other tracking devices yeah just <laughs> the other tracking devices. while they's <laughs> doing that i'm looking for a stopper anywhere Okay, you want to uh, roll investigation? Man, yeah. I there's only so much luck I have with these dice. They're I know. they're rolling well for me. As you're looking around, you see that like uh, Shannon and Lynn are opening stuff up, and Lynn pulls out one of those foam corks for anal leakage that I talked about. Oh my god, oh, you little yeah. freak! <laughs> you couldn't wait to pull that out, literally. That's going to be big enough for a sink drain? There's a lot of animals. If you look at the anatomy board, there's a lot of animals, and some of their assholes are much bigger than others. I feel like buttholes are a very similar size. You know, when I was t-shirt. asking about that anatomy poster and I did a good investigation, you specifically did not mention the medical guide where they specify what diameter of anal gauge they need. Yeah, I apologize. Chris, come on. The bottom right-hand <laughs> corner of all of the anatomy posters has just a close-up of an anus. With the gauge. They all have cool plugs, like a skull or <laughs> a little gem. A little gem on the outside. <laughs> Spencer's isn't selling them. <laughs> <laughs> the zoo is sponsored. By yeah, exactly. <laughs> Take what you can get. Hey, uh, Lynn, can you toss me one of those uh, corks? They're clean, right? They're not reused. I don't. I don't care. Okay, Lynn is gonna like 
pick it up with like the edge of a post-it and hands it over very gingerly. <laughs> okay. Hugs just takes it. <laughs> Great. There's some soap over here if you want in this other sink. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've got to wash my hands. Uh, yeah, and you could, there's an, as I said, there's a sink, soap, unwasteable. Rux, as you're filling up the large sink, as soon as it gets to the little line, the brim where you see, you hear the opening of a door. It's coming from underneath the sink. The bay's freaking out. That's zombies! <laughs> Uh, you have found an entrance into behind the mirror. You'll have to crawl your way through, though. Oh, you love doing that. I do. You love doing that, you little freak. Little, little freak. freak. Little freak. Fit How many times can I be called that in one episode? It's <laughs> because you keep on putting weird shit in the episode, Chris. Yeah, you little freak. <laughs> little freak. <laughs> Anal plugs for the win. <laughs> Who knew the puzzle was? Anal plugs. You started with the solution, which was the anal plug is going to be the key. And then you worked backwards. <laughs> I guarantee it. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, there's a door down here. If uh, anybody wants to crawl through it, it goes to the other side, I think, of the mirror. It's it's in that direction. Yeah. Put my nose on my finger. Finger on my nose. Bay, is this not your, uh, you know, area of expertise? Okay. Well, I'll just I'll go, go first. No, no, it's fine. I'll squeeze. It's great. I'll get eaten by zombies, and then I don't have to worry about nothing no more. Okay. Uh, what? How about I'll go first, and then you can come after me. And that way, you don't get eaten by zombies. Okay. If I get eaten by zombies, you run back. But if you turn into a zombie, you have to promise to kill me. Wait, no. Okay. I thought I'd promise. hang on. I'll be, Wait, okay. what? I promise I will <laughs> not kill you. Is I, I'm assuming that's what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Pinky swear. If I pinky swear, <laughs> then even my zombie brain will remember that. That is how that works. That's just science. It's that science. Is. You can see it on the anatomy poster. Yeah. It's, <laughs> there's also every animal's pinky. It's next to the anus. You can just... You just... <laughs> okay. So we're crawling underneath. Um, let's roll perception as we crawl in. 15. Yeah, I'm just keeping watch. 10. I think both, as you're both crawling through, you don't necessarily hear anything on the other side. And it's not a very long crawl. Like, it's it's a couple of scoots and you're in there. So you enter this small room through underneath a standing desk. Uh, you can see that the mirror is, of course, two-way. You can see Shannon and Lynn uh, as Throb Zombie and RuPaul on the other side. Incredible. Uh, and there is a computer on this standing desk. Uh, there's also a standing globe next to the desk. Bay looks under the keyboard for a password. That is a great idea, Bay. Uh, you don't see it. However, can you roll investigation for me as you do? Nat 20, baby. Oh, I'm on it today. Okay. So here's what happens. You look under the keyboard. No, it's not there. You put no. the keyboard down. Yeah, you slam it down. All the keys go flying. Uh, and you look up and see in the reflection of the mirror, you notice that there is a post-it on the back of the monitor. Hmm. As you pull it off, it says password clue, favorite dog, and then an arrow pointing to the left. That's a, that's a golden left river. <laughs> uh, you can let the others know that it is safe to enter this room if you want to, or if they want to stay on the inside. That's soft as a computer, and also it's a something about a dog. Okay. Uh. I mean, does one of us want to stay outside to just make sure watch? Can we see them through the mirror? Yeah. I mean, we can keep watching from here. We can see it. Oh, uh, okay. Do we fit in the tunnel? Yeah, everyone is able to crawl through it. Absolutely. Okay. Would you like to go into I mean, if Rux was able to fit, everyone else is smaller than Rux, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you you all can fit into this room. Like, it's not a big room back there. Uh, it's definitely like a hidden little secret office, but it's big enough for the four of you to comfortably be in there and move around a little bit. Okay, so here's my thoughts, right? And I'm a little confused because you, Lynn, used Loose Indol's keys to open that padlock. So obviously, Loose Indol had access down here. Mm-hmm. Why would Luce have access down here? 
and then be trying to tell us some weird information. Uh, he's lying. Okay, but we saw them dead as a zombie. So maybe Luce got more involved in this stuff than uh, than we and originally thought. And then someone said, oh, you know too much. We're going to turn you into a zombie. Or it was an accident. If you're working every day with these chemicals. Well, it just had a subtle name on the zookeeper coat, right? I could wear a zookeeper coat that says someone else's name. It doesn't. Yeah, like, I, not guess have that's, been uh, I guess that's true. Um, okay, then I have another question. Uh, did we see any dogs in uh, Luce's office? Any pictures of dogs? Oh, God, there was a picture of his kid. Yeah, it was a picture of his kid fishing with him. It was a picture of him and Erwin Corwin. And then it was a picture of him graduating. There was no dogs in the pictures. What about uh, in Madge Waffle's office? Um, yeah, I'm also just going to look around. Is there like any Snoopy posters? Is there like any... So Madge does have two dogs. You remember that? There's like a picture of Madge and like kneeling down with two black dogs next to her. Okay. There's like one of those ones where it's like my two dogs and then it's got the customized plate at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's my kids. Yeah. Yeah. And then it says which one is their favorite. Well, I'm assuming it's the one on the left because that's what the arrow is. What are the dogs names? Uh, Sadie and Lacey. Left to right. So Sadie. Left to right, and then the fave dog arrow pointing to the left. So then that would be Sadie. So we're going to type in Sadie. Okay, so I think that uh, there, was a, um, there was a photo on Madge's desk with a um, picture of her and two dogs. And she was really sweet and got personalized, which is perfect for us and perfect for really bad internet security. Uh, but it's Sadie and Lacey, and uh, Sadie was uh, the one left. Uh, and the little password clue says... The left. So let's try Sadie. Okay, but why would Madge have access to down here? But go ahead, try Sadie, see if it works. I mean, there's no other dog that I can see. Unless, you know, they got that dog in them. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and okay, there is so no like Snoopy posters or anything around. Like No. Yeah. No cartoon dog posters in this office, no. Okay. So you're trying Sadie? Yep. Is that confirmed? Yep. Okay. You type in Sadie, hit enter, and it does not work. A Shit. pop-up says two attempts remaining. Oh. Okay. That did not work. <laughs> so uh, we perfect timing have Zestasha calling. We can, you know, ask her to hack the... Oh. Yeah. Uh, actually, you do hear a phone notification come through. However, it's not your phone, Lynn. It's yours, Rux. Uh, you have a video message from Submarine. Oh. Hey, I think uh, my uh, little bit of threatening came, uh, kind of had some effect because, look, I got a new message. And Rux pulls everyone over to look at their their phone and watch the video together. The video starts looking like it's from a crouched position behind like a car. The video starts looking at the front of the agency. And suddenly you see El Capitan walk up to the door and slide something into the mailbox. The video shuts off as the, as the camera moves closer to El Capitan. And a message comes through that says, say goodbye. Damn. Good. Fuck that raccoon. No. Uh, as that's happening, Lynn, your phone begins to ring. It is Zestasha Felzar. And that's where we're going to end the episode. Dun, dun, dun. That'll give you guys some time to discuss what you need from Zestasha. Yeah. And it'll give me time to discuss some out of game stuff with you so that you can help. I can help you make better questions or make better decisions here. Yeah. <laughs> The good decisions so far, and uh, again, two attempts left on this password. Favorite dog, left arrow. Yeah. We'll figure it out on the next episode. Everyone get roll play. <laughs> yeah. Uh, until then, I'm Chris the DM. You can find me on all social media at Chris Drinks Lemonade. I'm Tisha. You can find me in the Discord playing video games. I'm Brandel. You can find me <laughs> on yep, the okay. Patreon where there's 160 episodes of Precast, except. There's more than that because the numbers are inaccurate, but don't look too closely. 
Interesting. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Katie, and you can find me enjoying the last couple days of summer on the beach, baby. Even though I can't uh, put my feet in the water because of the salmonella warning. <laughs> <laughs> And hi, I'm Jonathan. You can find me on Dress to Impress. And that's it. That's uh, that's hip hop. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Annihilate those <laughs> tweens. Thanks for listening. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 An RGRP LLC production. Music by Joe Barsanti.